In this video, I'm going to take a quantitative approach to Bourne Harbour cycles. So we're going to try three questions, um, a simple question, a medium question and a difficult question um, to put what we learned in the first video on Bourne Harbour cycles and lattice entropy into practice. So we've got this question and we've got to fill in the table here with some equations. And that's obviously going to test our knowledge of the various enthalpy changes that are involved in Bourne Harbour cycles. Then we've got to, um, once we've completed the table, we've got to construct the Bourne Harbour cycle and we're going to show that that's the answer for the lattice enthalpy for potassium iodide. So we'll start with the equations then. So the atomization of potassium, if you remember the definition, it's the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous atoms, so it would be K gas, is formed from the element in its standard state. So potassium is obviously a solid under standard conditions and that balances, so that's the equation. The next one is the lattice enthalpy of potassium iodide. Lattice enthalpy is the enthalpy change when one mole of a solid ionic lattice, so that's Ki solid, is formed from its gaseous ions. So it will be K plus gas plus I minus gas. The enthalpy change of formation of potassium iodide, that's when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard states. So we're forming one mole of Ki solid. Which elements will that be formed from? Potassium, solid and half a mole of Iodine, which is I2, and iodine is actually a solid under standard conditions. So, being a bit nasty, I suppose, with that. The first electron affinity of iodine. So, in electron affinity, you are producing one mole of gaseous one minus ions from one mole of gaseous atoms. So how do you turn that into that? You add a mole of electrons. The atomization of iodine, so that is the, we've already had the atomization of potassium, so that's the formation of one mole of gaseous atoms, so, so we're at one I gas, from the element, so that's from half a mole of I to solid. And the final one, the first ionization energy of potassium, that's the formation of one mole of one plus ions, so that's K plus gas, that's from one mole of atoms, gaseous, so there's the electron that's involved there. So we now need to construct the Born Harbour cycle. So remember at the very bottom of the cycle we have the solid lattice. So the solid lattice is potassium iodide, Ki solid, and that is going to be the lattice enthalpy for that is the gaseous ions, so that's K plus gas and I minus gas. So that's delta H L E. That's the unknown. We're trying to find that out. So we've got the formation, enthalpy of formation, which is going to live on this arrow here, delta H F. And so we form one mole of Ki solid from the elements in the standard states. So that's K solid plus a half I2 solid. We then atomize the two substances. 
So we'll atomize one at a time. So that's K gas. This stays the same. Half and two solid. And that is the delta H, the atomization, delta H A for potassium. We're now going to atomize the iodine. So the potassium stays the same. And what we're going to turn the half I2 into I gas. And so that's delta H atomization for iodine. And the next thing we do, we're going to ionize them. So we'll lift this arrow up here. So we're going to come down again for that one. So we'll take it up to there. And so this is going to produce K plus gas. There's the electron that's been removed. And we haven't done anything to the I, so that's still I gas. That's delta H I E, the first ionization energy. And the last thing we need to do is we need to connect there. So come down. And this is delta H E A, the electron affinity of the first electron affinity of iodine. So essentially we're adding that electron onto the gaseous atom to form the gaseous ion, one minus ion. Just to remind for you about the significance of the arrows, maybe I should have said this at the start, down arrow signifies exothermic. So you can see we've got, um, this is a down arrow here. So enthalpy change of formation, minus 328. And so it's pointing down. And the other negative one we've got is the first electron affinity of iodine. That's the other downward arrow. All the rest, obviously this is, um, flat centripetes are always exothermic, so that has to point down. These three here are all endothermic processes. So to turn a solid into a gas, you have to put energy in. To break that covalent bond and turn the I2 molecule into a gaseous atom, you've got to put energy in, so that's endothermic as well. And to remove that electron from the attraction in the atom, we've got to add energy, put energy in, and so this has to go too. So we'll put the numbers in now. We've got the um, cycle all drawn up there. So delta HF is minus 328. Atomization of potassium is plus 89. The atomization of iodine is plus one, oops, 107. And the first ionization energy of potassium is plus 419. The first electron affinity of iodine is, let me find it, first, there it is there, minus 295. And this is obviously the unknown. So the next thing we need to do is we'll just show the two routes um, let's find two coloured pens. So we've got this route here. So we'll colour this one in brown. So route one, and we've got route two is from here all the way around and then back right down to the bottom there. So route one equals route two from Hess's law. And what we're going to do is we're going to write all these uh, values up here now. So there's all the values in, minus 328 is the delta HF, equals the sum of all the rest. I've, I'm going to change that obviously to minus in a second, but I just wanted you to be aware of the importance of signs here. Well, we've got positive, plus positive, plus positive, plus that negative one. So obviously that plus minus becomes a, a minus, so just be careful with that. The easiest thing to do now is to work out the, the value for that. Then we're going to take it over there and subtract it from that. The sum of the bracket was 320. When we take it over to this side, it becomes minus 320. So minus 328, minus 320 is the lattice enthalpy, the unknown, and do that in your head, 648, 
show that it's 600 minus 648. We've done it. Smiley face.